Oh, gosh. This is absolutely ghastly. What's happened? You caught your reflection in a shop window. Oh, stinks of onion. Didn't take him long to add Lancashire to the list of places he has slagged off. Let's hope Greg can improve his mood. Oh, you all right? What's John today? <laughs> Definitely ready for Wigan. Yeah, I've dressed for the occasion. It's very different to London, I have to say. I, I can't wait to see what this is all about. Let me show you around. We're going to start off with Wigan Pier, which is just down there. Is it there. that way? Yes. OK, lead the way. <laughs> Come on. Show me, show me. Gregory is looking very enticing, and I am itching to see the rest of Wigano. I reckon Wigano's itching to see the back of you. Yeah. What's it's... this, an old mill? Uh, well, pier. Like... That's the pier. Is that it? Yeah. It, it's got a lot of history behind it, though. You like yeah. the best, are you? Well, I thought it'd have a bit more, <laughs> like, atmosphere. Lights, music, arcades. Welcome to Wigan, David Dashildoff. So it's the uh, third time now seeing you. I know. I feel like we get on pretty well. Yeah, I think you get my my banter. So at yeah. the start, I couldn't quite figure you out, but I really? feel like yeah, I feel like you've opened up a bit more. I don't think I've laughed that much in ages. Gregory, I mean, so humble, attractive. Every time I think of him, I get butterflies. Oh wow, romantic. Yeah, it is very <laughs> romantic. Definitely beats that uh, awful pier. I feel like this is the perfect setting. The stars are out. You've got the ambiance, the fog. You know, it's the right combination of things for a really romantic dates. So who knows what's going to happen later. I'm hoping tonight that, you know, I can get to know Ryan Mark on more of a personal level, like open up a little bit and just see where, where potentially this, this could go. Look at this, oh my gosh. Gonna get in there later. Well, I didn't pack any uh, swimming trunks, did you? You don't need to wear anything in there, do you? Oh, it's getting a bit sexy. What, you going <laughs> naked? Yeah, why not? Well, I'm not doing that. Oh, OK, <laughs> never mind then. This is a bit of a shock. Gregory has ticked every box. I love a bit of glamping, the night sky, the fresh air, the trees. This is right up my alley. Time to check out the digs. It's very... Um, Tights, isn't it? Oh, blimey, what have I missed? Tight, it's cosy. Quite, it's quite cosy, yeah. Do you reckon we both fit on that bed? Just going to pretend you didn't hear that question, right, Ash? Petals on the bed. Oh, wow. That's very romantic. Well, this is undash nerving. RDM is being positively charming. I see champagne. It's only taken eight weeks, but he's finally listening to the agents. I think you've done a really good job here. This is amazing, by the way. Well, I'm glad I'm impressed. Yes, finally, the dash and splash has popped his cork on a day. Is that a pig flying? So tell me, like, have you, have you like, had a relationship in the past? Uh, nothing really serious. To be fair, when I was 21, I still had, had relationships with girls. Right. But not um, a guy. So ne I'd never thought I'd, I would come out, ever. Really? Mm -hmm. Just keep it a, a secret? I always, yeah, I always thought it was just, just going to live this life where like, my mum and dad didn't really know me. Yeah. Um, that's quite sad, actually, that you thought that could be a reality. The only reason I came out was for, like, when I met my ex. I knew that I wanted to progress, and the only way to progress was to tell my mum and dad, so... Right. I cried for, like, hours. And I was, like, crying at work, didn't know what to oh, do. Wow. Yeah, and then my dad sent me this dead nice text saying, like, no matter what, I'll always love you, kind of thing, so... Oh, that's lovely. From there, I've just never, never looked back. What about you? Like, when, how did you, like, come out? I mean, I never really talk about it because I don't, I don't let it define me. It was actually a very difficult experience. I didn't actually have that sit-down chat that you had with your family. It was during The Apprentice and really? an article came out and then I wasn't ready to say anything and it kind of was just sprung upon and me. And how old was you then? 19? 19. 19, just turned 19. It's pretty horrific. It's probably the opposite to, to your experience. Really? Yeah. This is the most I've been open with anyone. And it's a massive step for me to be like this with Gregory. Are they all right with it now? I don't know, really. I'm not as close with my family as maybe you are. I tend to be. And maybe that's why, when I've been on dates in the past at the agency, I tend to be maybe a bit more defensive and guarded because of, I guess, because of that, yeah. that ordeal. Like, hurt by that. 
Oh, Dashy. I knew there was someone normal under that hat, but come on, mate, that hat. What's your aim in life, like, with relationship-wise? I guess everyone wants to get married. And I think if it does happen, I'd want to... I'd never do a family thing. Just be like you and... Yeah, I'd just get my closest friends. Just go abroad somewhere on the beach. Sex on the beach. <laughs> you ever done that? No. I mean, not. <laughs> no, no. Have you? No, I'm not, actually. No, but I did a in the sea once, um, sort of self-cleaned. I think this is... A really cute date. How so. cute is date? I've probably been on it. Probably really? is. Yeah, within like the setting and the fire and being different. Yeah, it is a really pretty setting. You know what? I've had a, a really good time every time I've seen you. Really. Yeah, I have. You have a good sense of humour, which is, which is rare. A lot of people are offended by my comments. And yeah, um, yes. Yeah. It's not just your comments, right, Ash. Your actions have been pretty offensive at times too. Yeah, I think we just get along and. It is really hard to find that spark, like the fire. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and you lit the fire. <laughs> and I feel like you've done that here as well. I think you're quite an interesting person. Quite. You're very. You are an interesting person. <laughs> there's, a lot more, interesting. there's a lot more to what you see. <laughs> and I think you do put, on, put up like a front when you're actually a really nice person. Um, oh, you know, you. and yeah, you should show that more. Staying around here tonight. I'm going to stay nice in this hut. I'm quite jealous, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> well, you can stay. <laughs> oh my God, Lionel Dashy has finally made a move. If the log cabin's rocking, don't come a knocking.